my god, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. This is like one of the most beautiful things you've ever seen. We're Sammy and Tommy. We recently arrived in Slovenia. In our last video, we visited the charming city of Ljubljana. Today, we are exploring the beauty of the Julian Alps. What's up, you guys? Good morning. Today, we are super excited. We are heading up to the Julian Alps. So we have about a two and a half hour drive ahead of us. We're sad to be leaving this Airbnb, all the goats and chickens and little bunnies, but we're gonna hit the road because we wanna attempt to do two hikes today. Yeah, they're both supposed to be beautiful. We can't wait to show you guys. So we're gonna hit the road. Let's go. Bye, guys. I bet they thought I was gonna feed them. <laughs> That's too cute. It's time for a road trip. Road trip Friday. It's where we're headed, you guys. Out. All right, we've made it to our Airbnb out here in the middle of the mountains. It looks beautiful. So it's just three apartments that share a bathroom. I love all the flowing water and we're right up next to all these hikes. And our little place. We just dropped our stuff in our Airbnb real quick and now we're heading to this really cool hike. It's called Slap Kojak. It's only like a 15 minute drive from our place. All right, so we're just starting the trailhead now. We parked our car in the lot that would not take our card on the like tap and pay for parking. So hopefully nobody checks those tickets, but this trail is supposed to be 3.5 kilometers and there's supposed to be a waterfall at the end, which I'm so excited about. Cave. And I think I'll skip this one. Looks like looks like we're gonna pay Tommy. Good. Read about this place, it was free, but I guess that post we read was a while back because they did charge us now to get in eight euros for a person. with this waterfall flowing through. Love that waterfall. Yeah. That was so unique and so cool. We packed ourselves a little picnic lunch and we found a little rock to sit on by the stream. It's thawing out in the sun, warming up. <laughs> it was so cold eating our lunch. Had the goosebumps. I found a patch of sun. I'm just gonna lay here for a minute. Mm -hmm. 
It seriously looks like Jurassic Park in here. on this hanging bridge, it looks pretty cool. So that was an awesome hike. I wouldn't really call it a hike though. It was a very a, short walk. Yeah, more of a walk, not much of an incline, so super easy to do. You can do it in like an hour and a half, really. Yeah. For only eight euros, it's the waterfall was spectacular. Yeah, and so we're waking up early tomorrow. We're gonna do that second hike that we were talking about and probably another one because that's what we came to this area to do. We found this awesome little restaurant right behind me here and they have a very unique plate that has wild boar cheeks in it, so we're gonna order that. So the one that really stands out is crispy cheeks with wild boar cheeks in homebrew beer marinade. That sounds bomb, dude. What do you think? So the first dish we got to try is the gnocchi with lamb. That lamb is so tender and so juicy, and the gnocchi is cooked to perfection. We're not going to get to the other hike tonight, but we're going to continue this tomorrow morning, which starts now. <laughs> you I can't think we're snap. here. Let me get us to the right place. <laughs> <laughs> we're at the Tomlin Gorge. My snap and finger, okay, let me try and then just say like. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Okay. okay, well we're here. All right, so we're here today at the Tomlin Gorge. We woke up this morning and it was pouring. Yeah, down downpour right pouring. all morning. Yeah, so we were gonna have to bag our hike and we're just waiting for the rain to let up so maybe that we could come do it. And it did, and it's supposed to start raining again in like two hours, so we wanted to get this hike done. It's supposed to be about an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, hour and a half again, I think. Something similar yeah. yesterday, probably about three and a half kilometers. Yeah, and this one does have an entrance fee again, but no parking fee, so that's good. Yeah, we probably wouldn't have paid it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Thank you, and you? Good. 12 euros. Thank Perfect. you. Around <laughs> trip about two and a half kilometers an hour and a half. Thank you. We very much appreciate <laughs> Enjoy. it. Enjoy. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so it was six euros per person to get into the Tomlin Gorge. She gave us a map. She told us that it was 2.5 kilometers round trip. There's supposed to be caves, a bear rock, some cool viewpoints, and she gave us a cute little map to follow and explain the whole thing to us. It's supposed to be super easy. So now we're starting. And that was successful. I walked backwards and didn't run in to anything. <laughs> that was well done. Hey, bring it up. Booyah. So we are here. We're gonna go down the path. And go all the way back here. So it's kind of like an interesting little loop. All right, so we are in Triglav National Park. It's the only national park in Slovenia, and it's named after the famous mountain here. Rocks are very slippery though. So, if you come after a rainstorm, be careful. I think we're about to get to the thermal because the air just got like really warm and I think the water is like emitting heat. In the 
middle of these two canyons that go all the way up. And we're right by this river flowing through. Woo, this is cool. Okay, this is a much cooler hike than the one we did yesterday. Yeah. Slap Kojak was great for the waterfall, but this hike is... Just check this out, it's crazy. All the tunnels, all the limestone. It's so very cool. I think these are here for a reason. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's a little spooky over here. Isn't this like one of the most beautiful things you've ever seen? Anything interesting? Yeah, this is a spring right here. It's hot water. It's 21 degrees Celsius. There's not a lot of natural hot springs in Slovenia, and it's like the only one. Oh, yeah. Come on in, Sammy. Look in there. Stop. So, Tommy and I are listening to it on audiobooks in the car. So now I've just been getting really scared lately. Oh. Spider. Okay. <laughs> it's so dark in here. How do I look? Damn good, baby. Oh. I get it. Took a little bit more. I like it though. I like the dance moves. Alright. It says white girls can't dance. <laughs> climb that we're on now. Rain jacket, sweater, but it's always good to have layers. Climbing. Wow. I did not even realize that those steps brought us so high up. Or break. Alright, break over. Let's go. That's the bear head. Oh, that's so cool. So a rock got stuck, nobody knows how, in between the canyon. And it has like moss all over it and kind of looks like a bear's head. So interesting. nice here too. We were yeah. so hot, now it's so cool. When it's so moist in here that there's like this green moss and vegetation that just grows all over all the rocks. It seriously looks like something out of like Jurassic Park or Avatar. It's like definitely out of the After the bear's head, you hike up a bunch more steps and then we're supposed to be, I think the last stop is the caves. And so that's where we're going now. I believe they're called Dante's Caves, but I need a reference on that.
Thank you. I was waiting for the belch. No, that's not gonna happen. Girls don't burp. <laughs> to wait to everybody's off camera and so let it go. <laughs> All right, there is Dante's Cave right up there. We're almost up there. Yeah, so it says here he was a famous poet and he visited this cave and it ex inspired him to write one of his famous poems. So, Hell of Divine Comedy. Yeah. I've never heard of it, but sounds spooky. This is among the most difficult tourist caves, which is why it's only possible to visit in the company of a competent guide. Oh, because we're not allowed to go in. We can just look at it. But you can go in with a guide, which we did not pay for. Low ceiling here, no sign of the way up. Oh, I think you actually can go in the cave, but you shouldn't without a guide. Just go a little further. I'm not going. It gets scary. <laughs> Come on, just a little ways. Just gonna look a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It goes back quite a way, it looks like. Well, that's as far as I'm allowed to go, I guess. Yeah. So if I'm standing up, I cannot bend over right now. It's really low. Very and slippery. slippery. The cave is open to go explore, but you're not allowed to go in without a guide. I am a little winded. I love it though. It feels good. And the weather turned out to be beautiful. How you doing, babe? We're heading to that bridge right over there. We took a wrong turn. We're about 30 minutes up out of the way. Good workout though. <laughs> Our navigator's not very happy about it. Consulted my map and it led us astray. Nothing jello legs. Yeah. So we just had a little crisis. I decided to drone off this bridge and I was gonna drop it down and then kind of bring it up for a cool shot, but it did not want to come up. <laughs> It would not elevate at all, so Sammy had to run all the way out there, down that hill, down that road, and I landed it right on that bridge way over there. She did good work. Rescue mission successful. All right, I figured I'd jog back since she was super tired already and had to run down, so this makes it a little more even. <laughs> successful. Hey, high five. Teamwork makes the travels and dreams work. Did you think I was going to get there in time? Uh, I wasn't sure. How much time was left on the back? We battery? saw like four minutes. Dang, how did, how did it work then, huh? It did. All right, so that was an awesome hike. Yeah. A little scary at the end with our drone, but <laughs> Sammy came through in the clutch. We always manage to get ourselves in those situations <laughs> with the drone, but... Yeah, lesson learned. Don't bring the drone down unless you know you can get it back up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think now it's time for some pizza and beer. I can go with that. That sounds, sounds good. Sounds about right. Ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Ooh, look at those mirrors. This is danger zone. An inch on each side. This is the narrowest bridge we have ever, ever been on. Oh, Ooh, made it through. Just this whole town is yeah. just surrounded by mountains. So cool. I think I'm gonna try to get up to that church after this. After we get some pizza and refuel. Pizza. Okay. We ordered a pizza that we used to get all the time whenever we lived in Costa Rica. We haven't had it in so long. Pepperoni and jalapenos, our favorite combination. Doesn't sound very exciting, but after that hike, it is. So, there you sweet. go. Thank you. All right, thank you, sir. Mmm. Nice and chili. Everyone here serves their red wine in high school. I don't get it. Keeping the fridge, maybe it lasts longer. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Looks good. So I couldn't finish mine, but Sammy ate my last piece. <laughs> Such a lie. 
She's one to admit to being the bigger eater out of the cup. Look at her I face, will, you can tell she I is. I would if it was true. Okay, what was it called? I think he said tomalishkis, kermagishkis. Okay, that's what we got. It's a traditional <laughs> dessert. It's dumplings with raisin walnuts and... A cinnamon, you know, sugar, cinnamon raisins, and sugar, raisins, walnut, and I think like a sweet simple syrup. Try it out for us. Okay. Wow. Whoa. It's very good. The dumpling, which is almost the thing that kind of like throws me off about dumplings, because it's kind of chewy, but the filling is so good. The crushed walnuts and the simple syrup is so delicious. I love it. It's almost like a cinnamon roll with a dumpling. It's like cinnamon roll with a dumpling. Not bad. <laughs> That's all you got? You want your hiding camera? Your turn. Perfect. All right, you guys, so after a great day, we are going to end the day up here. We drove about 15 minutes on top of this huge hill. It's this beautiful church behind me, and it overlooks all these mountains. But that's it for today. Got to get the drone up, do a little time lapse. But we have another hike tomorrow, so we'll see you guys in the morning. Just make it, make it. <laughs> make it, make it, make it. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> you can't I think snap. we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you got this. <laughs> oh, it was good. Quit laughing. We're at the Tomlin Gorge. My snap, I think we're. Okay, let me try and I'll just say, like. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Okay. okay. Well, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Try it again. You got this. <laughs> gonna be here all day. Oh, oh there. my God. Okay, we're here. We've arrived. They saw the snaps. They just keep talking. I'll just put a fake sound effect in. Okay. Cool. okay. Go ahead. And do it last time. I think it's time to call it a day. Amy. Amy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Time, it is time to go home. See you tomorrow for another hike? Tomorrow. Ow. <laughs>